Hello and welcome to another free Windows 7 Report instructional video from Windows7Report.com. I'm Doug Samuel. In this video, we'll take a look at the All Programs menu. You can take a look at all programs installed on your computer by going to the Start menu and then going to the All Programs button at the bottom of the Start menu. Notice that after hovering over this button for a few seconds, the All Programs list appears. If you want this more quickly, you can simply click on the All Programs button. You can now click your way, similar to Explorer, until you find the program you want to use. This is a great way of discovering what programs are installed on your computer. You might find it especially interesting to check out the accessories. For example, did you know there's a math input panel for Windows 7? Or a snipping tool? and of course the sound recorder. You may also want to find out what games are installed with your computer. Now this is the release candidate version of Windows we're running right now and it's the ultimate version of Windows 7 meaning it has the whole kitchen sink thrown in. You may find that the version of Windows 7 that you have has fewer games installed. To go back a level click the back button. The all programs list isn't my favorite way of starting a program, I do have to admit, but it is a good way of exploring what programs you have installed on your computer. And if you're used to using the programs menu from previous versions of Windows, you'll be happy to see that it's still there. You'll also be happy to see that it's more stable than previous versions of Windows. Previous versions of Windows used to have the All Programs menu appear to the right of the Start menu, in previous versions of Windows, if you move your mouse off of the menu, it would disappear. Notice that right now the pointer is off of the menu and it's still there. This used to be really annoying because after exploring your way through the list and nearly finding what you want, you could lose the whole thing. That no longer happens. So the new All Programs list is an improvement. Whether you want to use it because that's the way you like to start programs, or whether you want to use it to explore what programs are installed on your installation of Windows 7. I'm Douglas Samuel from www.windows7report.com. If you'd like to see more videos from windows7report.com, simply visit www.windows7report.com and fill in the form that you'll see at that website. You'll go on my email list and I'll send you a series of links to various videos about Windows 7. Bye for now.